Brent in Chicago says, I am stuck in a vicious cycle. I need to hire more people to help me grow, but I can't afford to hire until I grow. Help. Hey Brent, that is something that we all struggle with as business owners. So the first thing that I'm gonna to recommend to you is I do with all my, you know, kind of, I assume you're a small business, I don't know, but with all my small business clients that are struggling with working inside their business and really doing the mundane tasks of the day to day, um, you really need to focus on growing your business with yourself because you have to go out and be responsible for driving those sales. And I think that takes a psychological shift for us as business owners to really see the perspective of potentially what we need to be doing and what we think we're doing, which is what leads to what we actually do every day. And the easiest way for me to communicate this to you and just kind of send you down this path is to send you to Amazon and to buy a book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. It's like $9.99. If you're a Prime member, you're gonna have it in two days. It's an easy read. It's about 285 to 300 pages. For most people, that's two or three days, a weekend read, right? And it will change the way you look at running your business. Because what you've got to do is you have to schedule and allocate, and most importantly, prioritize your time every single day. And you have to schedule on your phone, on your calendar, however you're managing your daily schedule to allocate time to your business growth. Now that may mean that you are coming into lab inside of Limo University and learning how to data mine corporate customers on LinkedIn. It may mean that you are out going door to door and pounding doors in the pavement, doing cold sales in a business district. It may mean that you need to allocate two hours a month to go to your BNI meeting or your GBTA meeting. But what happens is, is if you don't schedule that, if you don't have a plan, then you're not gonna stay committed to it. And that is 100% what I call unconditional. Your car can wait to be washed till 10 o'clock at night. Your payroll can be done at one o'clock in the morning. But you know what doesn't happen is you can't really do sales unless you're doing online optimization or social media, but true sales, true business growth in the hand-to-hand -hand combat world that happens between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And that's typically your most chaotic. Chauffeurs are calling, hey, I can't find my passenger. You know, I'm stuck on the freeway. I, where, the gas card isn't working. Right, and then you have the clients calling, asking for the same things, and where's my ride receipt? Where's my trip confirmation? Hey, can I talk to Judy, who I spoke to yesterday about that prom uh, you know, limousine that's coming in, whatever it is. But you can't get sucked in to all of that unless you're the one-man show. And if you're the one-man show, then it becomes even more important that you set your priorities and you manage your time efficiently. So step number one is please go to Amazon and buy The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. Read that book, then reach out to me and let's have a conversation of how you can start really focusing and working on your business. You don't need employees. You just need to get that growth and potentially be more organized and have better priorities and this more strategic perspective looking down on your business and on your daily schedule and priorities. I hope that helps. And I look forward to seeing the rest of you on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.